definitely have a problem and everybody knows it and people coming together to figure out what the problem is is what's going to solve it and uh, and it's great to see uh, organiz organizations like yours uh, come together and, and create community spirit to uh, to improve salmon habitat and bring focus on the uh, the issue of, of salmon habitat. Salmon, uh, just the the salmon and sport fishing industry in the Matsu contribute about 120 million dollars a year to our local economy. And this year, because of the low salmon returns, that's been reduced to somewhere between 30 and 40 million. That's uh, that's money multiplier effect that's not going to go into our community that's bed taxes that won't be paid they've had about an 80 percent cancellation rate on bookings and it's going to and it affects all of us so having uh, taking care of our salmon habitat and elevating this issue is something that's uh, that's high on the borough's agenda and high on my agenda as your economic development director and i thank you for for all having a focus on this, and yeah, you know, this is a this is a quality of life issue, isn't it? People move to the Matsu to have a particular quality of life, and artwork like this helps improve that and improve the aesthetics of of where we live. I think as Alaskans, we have a strong connection and respect for our natural treasures. We're all hunters and fishermen and women and explorers, and we have a very intimate relationship with our land. And I believe this project is a testament to that fact that we as Alaskans and stewards of our land will always find a place, even amongst in industry and progress, we'll always find a place for all things wild and free.